Hello children, in today's class we are going to discuss about audible and inaudible sound. Also we are going to discuss about music and noise, how they would they differ from each other. The sound which we can hear is called as audible sound. It has a frequency between 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. What is frequency? Frequency is the number of oscillations or number of vibrations per second. If the sound waves produced are having the frequency less than 20 hertz or more than 20,000 hertz, that type of sound we cannot hear. We call that sound as inaudible sound. So inaudible sound, the sound which we cannot hear. Audible sound which we can hear. What is the range of frequency that is audible to our ears? That is 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. Inaudible sound less than 20 hertz and more than 20,000 hertz frequency is inaudible to our ears. And sound waves whose frequency are more than 20,000 hertz is called as ultrasonic sound. This ultrasonic sound can be heard by certain animals like dolphins, bats, dogs, etc. Whereas the sound waves whose frequency are less than 20 hertz, we call it as infrasonic sound. Infrasonic sound we cannot hear because its frequency is less than 20 hertz. Similarly, ultrasonic sound also we cannot hear because its frequency is more than 20,000 hertz. Our ears can only hear the frequency between 20 hertz and 20,000 hertz. So infrasonic sound cannot be heard by our ears. Similarly, ultrasonic sound cannot be heard by our ears. Certain animals like elephants, whales can even hear the infrasonic sound. If our ears were able to hear the infrasonic sound, you could have heard the muscle expansion, relaxation in our body, movement of muscles, movement of hands or movements of joints, etc. could have been heard. But we are not able to hear because it is less than 20 hertz. Similarly, this ultrasound is utilized in, in getting the image of our inner organs. For example, a mother, when she carries a baby, that is a pregnant mother, you want to see the image of the baby, developing baby, that can be seen by ultrasound. So ultrasound is utilized in getting the or collecting the or seeing the images of different organs of our body. So ultrasound and infrasound, I think you understood how what is the range of frequency of ultrasound about 20 hertz and less than 20 hertz is called infrasound. So you can see the diagram given here. Infrasound below 20 hertz, ultrasounds above 20,000 hertz. This infrasound can be heard by elephants. Ultrasound is produced by musical instruments. And the green band here shows the frequency of range between 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz which is audible by human ear. In the diagram given below also you can see human auditory field is coming between 20 hertz and 20,000 hertz. Infrasounds less than 20, ultrasound about 20 and 20 and 40,000 hertz frequency can be heard by cat and dog and above that can be heard even by bats and dolphins. Now we will discuss about noise and music, how they are different from each other. Noise is unpleasant sound which we don't like to hear. It causes irritation. How it is produced? It is produced by irregular or non-periodic vibration or non-uniform vibrations. These vibrations are not regular or non-periodic non-uniform that type of sound vibrations causes or produces noise many students speak in a classroom together it produces noise noise is produced even by 
buses and trucks if they blow the horns all of them together it causes noise it causes irritation to our ears so in that way we can say noise noise occurs because of unpleasant sounds produced by irregular or non periodic vibrations musical sound is very pleasant to our ears we want to hear it because it has regular or periodic vibrations Pe vibrations are periodic or we can also call it as uniform vibrations are produced by musical instruments or a person when he tries to sing a song the sound is very pleasant to our ears because of the uniform vibrations so excessive noise in surroundings causes noise pollution an unpleasant disturbing sound especially that is very loud causes noise pollution the units used to measure the loudness of sound is called decibel the loudness of sound is measured in a unit called as decibel the range of loudness in decibels that i can explain now the 1 to 10 decibel is just audible to our ears 1 to 10 decibel sound loud sound is audible to our ears 10 to 30 decibel loudness sound is very quiet 30 to 50 decibel sound that is loudness of the sound ranges between 30 to 50 decibel is quiet it's comfortable for us we can hear 50 to 70 decibel loudness sound is moderately loud 70 to 90 decibel sound is very loud 90 to 120 decibel is very much uncomfortable to our ears and 120 to 180 decibel loudness sound is very very much painful for ear our ears this kind of sounds which are very loud and which are not regular vibration they causes lot of effects harmful effects on our health so noise that is only leading to noise pollution so noise pollution especially takes place in our surroundings by vehicles explosions sounds of various machines loud speakers etc in home also noise pollution can occur because of the loud volume high volume by televisions radio music system etc sometimes some kitchen appliances like mixer grinder etc desert coolers air conditioner etc can also produce sound pollution in our house so as far as possible we have to avoid excessive noise excessive sound because it has got some harmful effects what are the harmful effects it will cause health problems like lack of sleep then comes high blood pressure hypertension anxiety etc if aged people are there who have heart problem sometimes due to excessive noise excessive sounds in the surroundings they will get irritation sometimes high bp patients will get irritated sometimes they will get they will lead even uh, it may lead to the death of a person excessive noise even causes pain in our ear drums which may lead to loss of hearing temporary hearing temporary or permanent impairment of hearing may take place prolonged exposure to noise with a volume more than 70 decibels can cause gradual hearing loss and can even lead to permanent hearing loss high noise levels can also lead to nervous tension and increase of blood pressure hypertension means blood pressure hyper blood pressure that is high blood pressure people experiencing high noise levels experience sleep deprivation sleep deprivation means they will lack sleep and increase number of headaches and therefore they become addicted to take sleeping pills when they can't get sleep which will lead to lot many health side effects so we have to learn to control this noise 
limit the measures to limit the noise pollution we will discuss now noise pollution can be reduced by using silencer in vehicles industrial machines and home appliances many a times you must have seen some young people when they ride a bike their that bike gives a lot of hell of noise why means that person must have removed the silencer from that engine which should not be done silencer helps in controlling the sound produced by the vehicles we have to reduce the use of vehicle horns blowing of horns unnecessarily should be avoided we should always run the tv radio on music system at low volume and we should try to plant more trees along the roads and building sites to reduce the noise and another thing we can remember we should keep the factories industries far away from the cities if we take all these measures we can succeed in reducing or minimizing the noise pollution so in that way we should be a responsible citizen of our country to think of the health of the others and not only of the others at the same time health of ours also so children with this what you have learnt is that noise should be produced at a low volume or not at high loud voice we should not shout we should not play the music system at loud loud voice then minimize the use of blowing of horns etc unnecessarily when you drive a vehicle these all things we should keep in our mind okay children with that i come to the end of this chapter thank you